Today I'm at Paris Auto Show and a lot of people here but I still try to review this new multimedia system from DS3 and first of all I want to talk a little bit about the head-up display. The head-up display is directly on this plastic part right here. Uh, not a big fan of those kind of uh, choice but uh, it's okay. I see the brightness is relatively good and yeah it is what it is now going down a little bit to the cockpit probably already see it before it's relatively simple cockpit but but you can somehow customize it a little bit you can see for example the navigation in the middle this is a great thing and in the same time you can see also the car right there with the energy with the battery uh, then you can change it let me show you you can also see the uh, multi uh, multimedia like radio and then again the navigation and then you can see also this um, active driver assist system you know like cruise control and all that uh, uh, feature now let me go forward in the middle here to the multimedia because this is the most important thing it's a big screen I like the way they design it here and also it's well array I wish although to be a little bit tilted to the driver because I feel like it's too much on the straight part it's more like uh, for all passengers than for the driver but it's 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 fine and also what I notice is that it's very very responsive it's a glossy screen and it's it's really responsive and uh, I can say that it's between the best without any problem and you can see you can play with it really easy and much much better than other uh, cars also you have some shortcut buttons right here that get you directly to the home uh, to the climatic system media also the car settings the telephone and then you have also the navigation system if you go to the car settings you will see right here all the settings and uh, functions of the car like lane keeping assist all the safety features are located right here so uh, it's very simple it's nothing complicated it's not something complicated as you find in a Mercedes or in a Volkswagen for example but still uh, they improve it a lot from the previous versions and yeah the application drawer here you find all the settings of the car is the same kind of the same multimedia system that Peugeot use it on 308 and also on the new 408 now here you have the general settings of the car uh, where you can go in every single detail the only difference is between this multimedia and the other one a little bit the design of the of the buttons here on the side and the design of it the software is different but other than that it's the same system you have the audio settings here uh, radio and volume the vehicle settings safety features vehicle lights for example uh, vehicle accessibility and the safety features of course and then uh, update you can also do an update uh, and then also you have on the system the language kilometer miles Fahrenheit Celsius and all that uh, function settings that are custom actually on all, all the cars you can find it uh, very very easy now uh, the settings you already see if you want to con connect your uh, Android or Apple phone you have uh, actually to use um, uh, you have to use a cable or if I'm not wrong it's work also wireless uh, and you can see right here it says you can uh, connect your device if you press here wireless so this is a good thing this is this is a plus for the car to be honest and also it's really responsive this is my my favorite part is that it's quite quite responsive and i like that and other than that guys uh the thematic system it's also here located and then yeah you can go to the uh, energy view and then on the energy view you have also the energy flow and information about uh, consumptions and yeah this is the the um, multimedia of the new ds3 i hope the video was useful guys if you still have question ask me down below whatever you want to ask i will answer with pleasure and yeah sorry about the video i know the quality is not that good but a lot of people around here and it's quite quite hard to do it so anyway don't forget to like share subscribe and i see you soon in the next video bye guys